Hey everyone, welcome to Metal Guns. Today we're going to be checking out some new to me ammo. Uh, big thanks to my buddy Randy. He dropped these off for us. What we have here is uh, Sierra Sports Master. 124 grain, jacketed hollow point. 9 millimeter. Yeah, these things are made in Missouri, it says. Oh, cool. Alright, let me show you what one looks like here. There we go. Yeah, pardon my hands, guys. Shirt. I just came straight from the shop out here at lunchtime trying to get in some videos. You know how it is. Working for a living. Yeah, but uh, we'll see how these things do on that uh, block. But, first of all, I've got, uh, I pulled out five. So I'm going to take three of them and just go out here and plank some targets and see if they, you know, get some decent accuracy. I've got the uh, Lone Wolf, what was this thing called again? The Dusk 19 that uh, we're going to be using for this ammo. And I'd like to see how that cycles and hollow points as well. But yeah, let me get this thing loaded up. We'll go out here and we'll pop us three targets to see how well this ammo does feed through the gun and shoots. And then we'll go over here and I'll show you this clay block setup I have. I actually have two clay blocks. They've been sitting out here Lordy, probably about two weeks. These things are hard as a rock. And then behind it, I got a shaving cream. So, after I show them to y'all, I want you to throw down in the comments what you think. Do you think it's hollow point to make it through both of them and catch that shaving cream or not? And don't worry, I'm going to have a second round ready in case that shaving cream doesn't get popped because you know we're going to pop it. But yeah, let me load up and uh, we'll get with this business. Right, throw some ears on here so we don't get more deafer than what we already are. Good deal. Got five rounds in there. All right, got the red dot on. One in the chamber. All right, let's just start out there at 20 yards. Oh, yeah. seems to be cycling good. We got one more. It's going out there to 45 yards. Y'all watch for the light. Now that is just cold. And we are clear. Alright, cool. It cycles good in that little pistol. And the rounds seem to be accurate. There's a couple there at 20 yards, and we caught that 45-yard one, so that's all good. Now, let's go over here to the main event and see what we got going on. All right, guys. Y'all get the gist of what I'm going to do here. Stand here. Try to plant one dead center. We have this one here that is not shot all the way through. This one here that is all the way through. Uh, Hootie Who shot them. I think that was a 22 Magnum and a 17 HMR. Uh, you get a chance, run over to his channel and check them out. I thought it was pretty cool. Of course, I got that shaving cream back there as a kicker. Gotta have a kicker. But let me get the camera set up. I think if I set her right about... Let's go ahead and lock her in here. What do y'all think about right about there? That should give us a pretty good view. I do believe. Get one in the chamber. All right, guys, y'all ready? I'm going to step back uh, maybe seven, eight feet, something like that, and let her rip. Take a knee. Well, I'll be. Set that over here for safety. That did not go through a second block. Let's check it. Boy, it'd be really, really super cool 
and I see the bullet. Do y'all see it? Right down there. Far out. I know shooting this uh, stuff will be pretty cool. Alright, well that answers uh, Randy's question. Uh, the main reason to give me this ammo, he said he's watching it on some other channels. And they couldn't get it to expand. Well, she's some dried up clay. That's her. Yeah. She's still warm. When it's not burning me to death, I will live. I got tough hands. But look how that thing just mushroomed out and rolled over on itself. Yeah, that, uh, that is just cool. That's just real cool. That one is definitely a keeper. Let's set it up here and put it in our keeper pile. I like it. Well, that gives us an opportunity. Yeah, bonus shot. We've got to shoot the shaving cream. I mean, it's sitting right here, guys. That's why I brought out two rounds. Put the camera back. Hopefully, I don't get shaving cream all over my camera. But we'll go through and we'll catch that second block just for a little bit of effect there. Alright, I'm actually going to get back a little bit on this one. I don't want to get splattered with shaving cream. Alright, y'all ready? Far out. We caught that second bullet. Let's get this. I can literally see it when I walked up on it. Sorry for carrying y'all with the camera, but that way you know what's going on. Okay, but went through the shaving cream, went into the second block, and check that out. Yep, she is warm. It done exactly the same as the other one. Well, yeah, that stuff expands just fine, apparently. Oh, man, I dropped it. Come on. Hope I ain't a big alligator down there is going to kill me or something. You believe I can't find that? There it is. Yeah, as you can tell, I was not going to give up. Let's try this again. Yeah, both of them expanded just about the same. Yeah, them bullets expand. You just got to hit something pretty hard, apparently. That was cool. And there we have it. Uh, I gotta say, I was surprised. I thought that 9 mil would go through both blocks and maybe hit the shaving cream. I did not expect to catch it. And I did not expect to catch both of them. That was, uh, like I say, that was a cool surprise. I'm gonna leave these sitting up here. That way when Randy comes by, he can check them out. Because like I say, that was uh, what the deal was with the am ammo. People are saying that this stuff will not uh, spread out good. I'm trying to figure out why I put them where they won't get blown away or something. That'll be fine. But yeah, that was cool and that was very informative. Oh uh, yeah, the Sierra 124 grain jacketed hollow point. It works. It shot great. It was accurate. A couple at 20 yards, one at 45 yards. That was good. And it killed a shaving cream. So yeah. Pretty good ammo. I'm digging it. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. I appreciate you watching. You know I enjoyed shooting it. That was fun, especially when you find the bullets like that. Uh, if you would, throw me down some comments. If you're able, hit us up on Patreon and on the Super Thanks. And please like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it much. 
Until the next one, we hope that everyone has a fantastic day.